Hey everybody, it's your Salty Neighbor Giant here and today we are doing my second first impression video on Estelia, uh, upcoming MMORPG. So what I thought we do, what I think would be fair to most people is that I divide this video into parts. One being my first impression, honest opinion on the game and then a little bit of gameplay so most of the time when people do these sorts of videos go away um they put the review and final thoughts at the end i thought to you know save you time um i'm gonna put this right in front of the video before anything else so Estelia online uh is an upcoming mmorpg that is what you consider an Eastern MMORPG, and I was able to play for around you know 20 to 40 minutes, and to get like my first impression. I'm not gonna go. This is not this is not a review. This is not a review. This is just me jumping in the game, getting my first couple impressions, and that's pretty much it. I didn't work on the game. I don't work in game development, so I cannot give you an expert review on the game. I'm just gonna give you my first couple, you know, opinions. And um, the game is pretty basic. Um, it, it has a decent customer ca um, characterization, a uh, customer creator. Um, it does everything most MMORPGs do. Uh, I didn't dive really into the story. Uh, I wanted to check out the gameplay, and the gameplay, the gameplay in the combat feels pretty smooth. Um, you have these these stallions or avatars or, or summons, whatever you want to call them, which give you a little bit of a, of a neat little um, side effect, and it does. That's like the thing that separates it from other MMORPGs. Um, from what I understood from talking to people that play this um, like constantly. Uh, there is a lack of endgame content in the moment and either the western or the eastern version apparently hasn't been updated in a while. Um, I cannot judge that. I'm just, you know, ref telling you what I've been told. So the game itself, I would say, in my opinion, looks decent. You know, it's fun. You can get a couple hundred hours maybe out of it. And there is pay to win in it. I'm not gonna lie about that. I made a video about what I see as pay to win. Anything that has any impact on any in-game mechanic for me is pay to win. Um, I don't know how much it impacts the overall gameplay. Because you got dungeon tickets and you got resurrection scrolls. So uh, you would have to play this game till the end and see how it goes. You do have uh, five, five, four, five, six. You got the the knight, the assassin, the archer, the scholar, and the mage. So you got five classes, and each of those five classes has apparently four subclasses or um, specialties you can go into. For example, I know the knight or the guardian or the guy with the shield and the sword has the berserker. The mage has the warlock. So I wanted to play a warlock and I did, but the, the problem that I already have with this game is that there are gender locks. And I know a lot of weeps, a lot of people that are into anime girls and that stuff, they are okay with this stuff, but I don't like playing as a 14-year-old girl. I just don't. So this is already turning me off. I would spend the weekend playing this and streaming this a little bit more. Um, but that's already a negative um, thing for me. So game, but gameplay-wise, combat-wise, it's fun. Needs a little bit of um, smoothing out. I feel here and there the combat doesn't feel like smooth. Um, but it is. Uh, it's a solid MMORPG. Not gonna lie. Um, just like any other MMORPG that I played over the last ten years. Just, you know, what do they do with it? That's the thing. So to sum it up, um, combat is good. Pay to win, yes. Potential, yes. Uh, weep friendly, yes. So there you go. That's pretty much all there is to it. Um, just check it out. If you have a friend who plays it right now, they're giving out 14 day friend pass passes for Halloween. And yeah, so now is the part where I just play. So if you don't want to watch this, feel free. So thank you for watching and I see you guys around. Okay, so I guess we're gonna start with creating our first character for this game. <coughs> so first up, something that I noticed um, while getting ready for this video. This game has gender lock, and I fucking hate gender lock. 
uh, on most um, um, classes. So the only two male classes that you can play that also have female options are the warrior and the assassin. Most MMORPGs that I play, I play a freaking mage, but now I am kind of stuck to playing this um, lolly hentai weep thing. So, yay. So, wow, congrats. Yay, whatever, just face preset, all right. Let's make her as dumb looking as possible. Any way I can customize this? Guess not. Oh, body presets, okay. Eeny, meeny, miny. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. There we go. Um, okay, so we're gonna call her. I, I don't know. Sandwich. There you go. Like, like honestly, just, just straight up, if I cannot play a male wizard or if I am restricted by me creating characters, I, I'm already, I'm already triggered. So we're gonna play Sandwich and let's hope the game doesn't crash this time. Crashed for me last time. Okay, and we are in. Skip cuts in. Okay. Click on Faye if you wish to speak with her. Okay, so... So you're pretty... <clears throat> okay, you do have hard keys and everything, so that's good. Alright. You're awake? Let's get some training in. You're awake? Let's get some training in. Okay. Oh, F. I have to press F. All right. Yeah, yeah, I don't care. Press the movement keys. W, A, S, D. Oh, so yeah. Or okay. click on the ground. Yeah, I don't, it's just a basic tutorial. I'm going to do that. <coughs> I don't even know why, why MMORPGs have basic tutorials for moving around. It's not like they reinvented the wheel. Okay. Yes, yeah, some decent cutscenes. Oh, it already has like my preferred keybinds. I kind of like that. Okay, cool. Is everyone okay? The one who helped us is the Norden priestess, Sela. Master, you probably saw her. Knights, regroup! We can handle a couple of demons without much problem, but they have a centurion with them. Yeah. If Yuria shows up here, we're as good as dead. Master, we should help with the coastal defense for now. If they take this place, Sirius, we won't have a second I can chance. Feel the darkness. So the combat is pretty basic. Um, there's nothing like really new. So I do understand I have these, um, I don't know, like, summons that fight for me, which is fine. Which, which kind of reminds me a lot of um, like hunters and warlocks in World, of, in World of Warcraft, where you have to also somehow uh, control 
control like your pets and everything. So so that's a nice touch. Actually, the combat is just kind of like it's basic, but I can see this actually getting really skill based. is coming we have to stop the centurion why don't you try using the cannons behind you yeah, yeah whatever uh, what I want to do now before anything I want to actually so skill tree wise it's also pretty basic you get the actions you get your passives okay so that's pretty basic you got your monsters which is I don't know like Pokemon, I guess you, I guess it's a nice touch, um, and, and it adds a certain level of um, customization to your game. You get your achievements, okay, I guess expert skills, uh, crafting, okay, matching, I'm looking for party recruitment, okay, guild, I can join a guild, okay. I I always like when when every guild in the game is listed. That makes stuff so much easier. But what I, what I'm looking for is the cash shop. Hassle free looting. What's hassle free looting? Subscription. So, unlimited resurrection travel. Okay, so it is, it is, it is pay to win. It is to some degree, it's pay to win, I guess. You got subscription-based models, which give you I don't know what. Yeah. It's, okay. Yeah. So yeah. Okay, 30% decrease of dungeon ticket uh, reach, charge time, increase max dungeon ticket, yeah, so it, it is pay to win. Okay, we're not gonna lie about that, okay. Use the cannons, we're gonna use the cannons now! Let me use the cannons, how do I use the cannons? There you go. So, picked up the balls. There's the cannon. Using the cannon, please let me aim. Okay, I cannot even aim the cannon. The Centurion is hit, but it's ineffective. Ordinary cannonballs seem to have no effect. Go find Tarant. We must find another way. Do not fall back. It's all over for the village if this place falls. Sion, the holy light is with us. Don't fear and keep fighting. Another cutscene, all right. Half-naked mage lady is able to beat the boss. Okay, I know how this is gonna end. Hold right. the line. Protect the village. Evacuate the civilians. I found them. Oh, okay, right over here. I can't believe Scion Law. Scion is a powerful. Yeah, find the dark artifact and destroy it. Let's go, Master. The corrupted artifact that is.
Okay. I have to destroy this, right? Let me try. Is it time to work? Okay, so now I got two of them out. Guess so. Okay, so that is pretty. The combat is pretty basic. I wish there would be some sort of sprinting on the horse. How do I get up there? Okay. I mean, the com like the controls and everything is, is pretty basic. Uh, you will receive ten centers. Okay. Item drop rate ten percent. Okay, I already know where this is going. At least there's voice acting, so that's a good thing. Is it time to work? my character P, okay I don't even have wait I don't have that many weapon slots okay wait that's that's customization customization treasure chest okay so there is some level of death to this all So it can I serious I, <laughs> I can feel the darkness. I can have both out at the same time. Okay, cool. Oh another cutscene, alright. Another half naked lady and a little kid to gonna save the day. Kind of don't get it. Another half naked lady. Another half-naked alien. 
Nope. Okay. Another loading screen. Cause we love them so much. Because humans are clueless about their own fate. They struggle and resist as hard as they can. Okay. Okay, cool. So, yeah. Okay, story-wise, honestly, story-wise, I, I don't care. Like, I'm not, I, I, I'm not gonna invest too much time on the story right now, so... It's time to yeah, yeah, downs. Dungeon, you see, like, dungeon tickets. I feel like dungeon tickets should not be a thing. Storage expansion, so yeah, sorry, I know some people are gonna disagree with me, but you can just go and watch somebody else's video. But I'm pretty sure this is pay to win on a heavy basis. Like class evolution. Once you reach level 50, you can have four classes to move into. Okay, yeah, so four classes, okay, cool. Okay, Customization. What level am I? Level four. All right. I don't like. I, I, I want. Can feel the darkness. Yeah, you at least. I don't want you. You look. This looks pretty cool. I like this. Like you know, Halloween themed. That's pretty. That's pretty sweet. You've arrived in Mayville, Master. Let's register our return point first. Okay, cool. But I don't want to. So let's see. Return point. Teleport, Master. You can go anywhere the wind blows. Okay. Have a nice trip. Healer. Okay. Okay. So healer is that like Pokemon? Are you hurt? I will okay, keep an eye okay. on your journey. Okay. Oh, I mean, I guess I have to do the shrine. Shall we get started on gathering information about Estelle's? First, go find the Knights' headquarters. Okay. Guess I will do that. Honestly, as soon as the game um, has anything Halloween themed, I'm down. I'm gonna try no matter what. Freaking love Halloween. Okay. I mean, the game in general, like, I, I, don't, I don't see my frames at the moment. Um, it's a little bit, you know, laggy. Um, if they would add a little bit more customization, I think it would improve a lot. Um, you know, but from what I understand, this is still an early access. Uh, oh, wait. Okay, no loading screen? That's good. Just, honestly, just just already, like, I know after I'm done with this video, I'm gonna switch classes, because the way this character model is running, I know, I'm, I'm just getting triggered. This is just, no. No, this, oh, and the footsteps, Jesus. This is the office of the Steel Fist Knights. We lost many in the invasion four months ago. Okay. The, the character models, um, oh, there was this Guardians of Ember, yeah, that's the game. For some reason, this character model, like, reminds me of the Guardians of Ember, um, dwarf model. Multiple children have gone missing. This has to be a serial kidnapping case. Okay. A child missing at a time like this? It is possible this might be a kidnapping. Do you think it has something to do with Yuria? Master, we have to investigate this. Let's find Gina. Oh, what's this? A chest? Can I open this? Oh, interesting. Okay, I think I've seen enough to get a first impression. All right.
So yeah, guys. If you enjoyed this video, I know this is the first time I'm gonna do this. Um, let me know what do you think about Estelia. Um, let me know, you know, your thoughts and ideas on this sort of content. Leave, you know, thumbs up if you like it, thumbs down if you don't. If you want to talk MMORPGs, post down below in the comments. And yeah, I see you guys next time. So stay salty and talk to you soon. Bye.